you know, to wake up to like such negative comments about me that aren't true. It comes with the internet territory. I'm a real person. Do you regret falling in love with me? I try to put my best foot forward. The reason why I do the most and I am extreme is because you love me the way you love me. Natalie's not really gay. Natalie uses easy. Natalie doesn't bring anything to the table. Bro, you, you actually don't know me. Mm -hmm. I just wish we stayed best friends. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Just, Just Between, Between Us, Us podcast. podcast. I'm Natalie. And I'm easy. Man, oh, man. Sheesh. When I tell y'all, first off, like, I don't even know where to start, actually. I really don't know where to start. Start with how crazy our first episode was. Wow. Okay. So if you guys didn't tune in, uh, this is our second episode and our first episode was very dramatic. We were talking about how we were dealing with our breakup. And unfortunately we've seen a lot of, um, disturbing comments, especially towards Natalie, my queen, my baby. Um, and I feel like it, they were very hurtful, but it's, it comes with the internet territory. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, damn, y'all. We open up our lives to y'all mm -hmm. because we've been doing this content creation for years. And we decided to be vulnerable like we have and discuss what the hell we were going through and why we were in MIA on the internet. Right. And as a courtesy. As a courtesy. As a courtesy. We, not because we had to discuss this yeah, with anybody. You know what I'm saying? But it was just like, damn, y'all went in and it's like fuck do y'all support me do y'all hate me do y'all hate natalie do y'all hate her you think if you tear natalie down you think if you tell her down it's gonna make me feel like yeah i'm the big dog nah come on y'all come on man y'all can't call y'all self supporters of me if you don't support her you feel me it's you're entitled to your own opinion but it's just the assumptions that get to me and to see my baby the way that she was off of last week's episode and y'all call yourselves y'all supporters it's just like damn come on man i don't find that support when you talk shit i don't i don't like that and, and i don't like to see her get emotional and shit so um yeah she was she was very emotional listening to the episode and i mean or at least reading the comments because she opened up herself and was being yeah. so honest Thank you, baby. Of course. It is. It's really difficult, mm -hmm. guys. Um, try not to get emotional right now, but it's hard mm -hmm. whenever you open yourself up to people mm -hmm. and you try to allow, you know, like, I don't know, your supporters <laughs> have a glimpse of your life mm -hmm. and then people use everything that you try to give to them against you mm -hmm. and try and come up with their own narratives and what everything narratives was it like well people are saying things along the lines of like really like coming at my character and saying things like that i don't love you natalie's not really gay natalie uses easy natalie doesn't bring anything to the table mm -hmm. like just honestly really really hurtful <sighs> stuff that had me in real deal tears and it's like even though i don't i know that none of that is true it's right. just that it's the fact that people can be so just ruthless and mean Sorry, that man. it like really hurts me because yeah. I feel like I try I try to put my best foot forward on the internet you know what I'm saying like I really try to show who I am and I try to like it's impossible to show completely who you are yeah. and these snippets that you get out of our 24 hours a day 360 what is it five days a year like right. it's hard to it's hard for you to really see the depths of who we are as a person yeah. but some of you I'm coming to realize don't really care I think you just like to hate me and mm -hmm. that hurts that really hurts because it's like do you think it's some like I just don't I don't understand it you know what I'm saying and I feel like I said like Y'all are entitled to your own opinions. We're the, we're the ones that's deciding to put our lives on social media. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I think you're of, entitled to opinions, but, but tearing not, her to, down? not to hate. That's not the reason why we decided to build a community right. on YouTube. And that's not the reason why we decided to show like our relationship to you, our friendships to you, yeah. not for, not to build some type of hate community, hate Natalie community. Like that shit hurts. Like y'all don't understand. Like I'm a real person. 
it's really hard, bro. Like it's hard because I am, I'm like, I have feelings yeah. and y'all see that. Like on everything I post, like if you follow me and you actually support me, you see the type of person I am. Like I'm a very positive person and Sorry. you know, to wake up to like, such fucking negative comments about me that aren't true and yeah. people just really like questioning and not even just questioning saying who i am like they they're saying who i am like they they're like, not they know you or something yeah and it's like bro you you actually don't know me yeah. you don't know me why do you like it's and it, it pisses me off too because it's like damn like i don't want to see you like this you know, and you my queen, and I don't want you crying like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, damn, like, <laughs> bro, y'all don't crying understand. In our second episode, <laughs> we're the second episode in, but now I'm seeing you cry. Now I'm crying, and it's just like, what the fuck, like, y'all? Are you guys are? If you're gonna be our supporters, be our supporters fully. Like, she's a human being. And, and you and, got and me all wrong on top of it. Like okay, the shit yeah, that you're is, saying is false. Like well, I, yeah. first my of baby all, does gonna, a lot for me. First of all, she does a lot for me. And, and, and regardless if it's behind closed doors or to the public, when it comes to our extreme birthdays or not, you, the reason why I do the most and I am extreme is because you love me the way you love me, you know? And we decided to work this out because you say, you know what? I'm going to show you everything that you, you've been needing and everything that you want. And I'm a, and if it is in this certain way, maybe the love language that you need, I'm going to do it. And it's like, hell yeah. Like you step up to the plate when it's time and that's what you did. And it's just like, well, damn. And that's like, what I've been, that's what I've, well, that's what I've been doing. That's what we've been doing. Yeah. Every single thing that y'all. Every single thing that y'all see and that we allow you to see is like, and how much we love each other. You can't just make that shit up. Like, I don't, I don't, I For swear damn, people three, will be years? like, people, right. For six people, years of friendship. We make that shit up. Like, come on now. Literally like be in the comments. And we see y'all like, I don't know if you just think you're just keyboard warrior and we don't read the comments. No, right. we see y'all talking about, oh, this is fake. Like I knew Natalie never really cared. Do you really think I'm that good of an actor? When people, when our real fans, we see y'all too. And we love you so much. Thank, Thank you, you for being so a real much. fan. But when they like make these little clips of how we look at each other and how our chemistry is, bro, not the best actors in the world can't do that. Like this Man. is not acting. I remember watching this those is videos. Real. This is real. And I remember watching those videos when we were just best friends and they would see the chemistry and dynamic of how in love you were with me before we even, before I confess my love to you. Yeah. You know, and it's yeah. like, this is some real shit. We are real people. Mm -hmm. and, and we go through real problems so imagine like and we all have the bad hate. days and we have great days have great days beautiful <laughs> days emotional days yeah. shit can get toxic days we live just like you so like imagine if you read a thousand negative comments to you like and then you, people and then it's like a snowball effect because if yeah. somebody says something negative it's like the negative nancy's like the people that just are i don't know if they're just sad in their own lives or what it, mm -hmm. whatever it is but they just d love to jump on the bandwagon and be like yep like comment you know what i'm saying like at the end of the day i just want to say this like i don't want to go too much further into this but i want you guys to understand like the type of community that we're building right. the type of community that we are building and that we want to continue to attract to us are positive people mm -hmm. this podcast is supposed to create a safe haven for all different types of people whether right. you're gay straight freaking you know whatever it mm -hmm. we want everyone to come on here we want to be able to interact with y'all we want to eventually be able to open up to the public and answer questions right. and we want to have productive conversations in the comments and we want y'all to feel safe and in order for to do this we need to feel safe if I don't feel safe, like I literally started questioning, do I even want to continue doing this podcast? Do I want to continue sharing parts of us? Well, I have a question. Because then. it hold on one second, Sorry. baby. Go ahead. If we if we don't feel safe we're not going to want to continue doing this. So I ask that if you don't have anything nice to say, 
please don't say it because we're going to start be becoming very vigilant when it comes to blocking people because I don't want pe- th- that type of energy on our page. We don't want that type of energy on our we page. Don't. And we're, we're trying to attract more mature and like positive, high vibration people. Right. Well, that brings me to a question. Do you regret falling in love with me? Absolutely not. You don't? No. Even though it comes with a lot of crazy, like, us becoming, falling in love publicly comes with a lot of crazy. It also has come with a lot of good. And we've been so blessed. We're sitting in our dream bedroom right. and our dream home. Yeah. And, you know, regardless of the people who have, you know, are negative, we have thousands hundreds and thousands of people that are very positive and Mm -hmm. we have the opportunity to even run into in person sometimes and you guys stand out more than anything I just want y'all to know that y'all stand out more than anything and we want to give you your praise even more I've been in the group chat with a lot of my um supporters with alexis Mm -hmm. and smart cookie and a bunch of people i'm trying to learn everyone's names y'all but you do (laughs) yeah darnell recognizes those names because y'all are really some real ones and we love y'all so much and y'all stand out the most and we really are the type of people that build relationships with our supporters so when you're gonna get a lot more attention from us when you're sweet and it stands out that you're a good person than when you're negative because you're just gonna get blocked with that one yeah that's yeah so you don't have any regrets transitioning from best friends to lovers especially when it comes to how powerful Uh, I guess my fan base was and or when it comes to just even being in the LGBTQ community or being public when it comes to this (sighs) world of dang I miss my best friend do you have any like moments where it's like you know what I just wish we stayed best friends no I don't I don't no I don't I okay I'm not gonna lie I have moments where yeah, i'm like too, damn. Damn. Wait, wait, yeah. <laughs> just between us just between us i, I have, have moments too i have our moments yeah. where i'm like dang what the heck like right. in, in a moment where i'm boohoo crying about some comments i'm like i wish i never posted this video or right. i wish i never decided to have a public relationship you know what i'm saying like i'll think things like that but as far as like falling in love with you mm-hmm. and giving this a chance absolutely not and even if we didn't work out which we're not even speaking or don't speak that don't, don't that. manifest that because you know the power of the tongue is very right, strong right but i'm just saying hypothetically <laughs> very <speaking>. strong <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hypothetically speaking, (laughs) I'm just saying that there's nothing, you know, in me that regrets taking this chance. And I never could because I learned so much. I've grown so much. You learned a lot. (laughs) Shut up. I told her a lot. Just between us. (laughs) (laughs) You're a hot mess. Okay. So. What? Do you regret? No, I mean, do you regret? Do, do you I regret it? Because you did say you said sometimes, sometimes. I don't regret. I really don't regret becoming like lovers from best friends. Like you were the straight girl, and I, I at that time was childish and loved the chase and loved straight girls or whatever. But it was naturally we were just best friends. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And the fun, great times that we had as just best friends. There are moments where I'm just like, well, damn, like I miss my best friend. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I, I, I miss, yeah. I miss her. And I just feel like sometimes when we were ar- when you were arguing or whatever, it's just like, damn, I just, man, we was best friends. We wasn't arguing as much, but <laughs> I think that's normal though. It's just like in a, a beginning of a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You can sit there and say, oh yeah, I missed this about, you know, the beginning of time, but I feel like we've done a great job, especially being back together, integrating both of the I best agree. friendship and uh you know relationship and we always been great at that and when we are steering away from that we navigate back into it mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying but then sometimes i feel like or at a point it was like coming in between our intimacy and that's where it's just like damn like 
wait, the differentiation. Wait. Yeah, we're gonna get into that. We're gonna get into that because I have another question. You have though. another question? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, well, I'm, trying to talk about, I'm trying to get into the intimacy. Yeah. We're trying to get freaky. You know what I'm saying? So, it's but, just between us, podcast. You see that? They can't even see. Some people can't see, but some people at home oh can't. Oh my god! Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, what's your She's question? She's air humping, guys. <laughs> if you can't see, this girl's air humping right now. It's crazy. Okay, go ahead. What's your question? Um, okay, and yo, Versace robe because you look good. And you look good. Amen. Amen. You look good. I like what you looking like. I like what you looking like. <laughs> you like what yes, I look like. All right, what's your question? It's the fresh braids for me. Hey, it's the second episode. I had to come correct. Exactly. <laughs> We got a podcast now. Make sure y'all tune in on Apple Music and Spotify. Link in our description. Exactly. So if you're on your way to work, listen if to you us. clean in the house, you could just listen. You don't have right. to watch. But Okay, what's your question? What's your question? Okay. So how was the transition? Because we have so much to talk about. Because you all know this whole episode is about us transitioning from best friends to lovers. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is going to be, we're really going to get into the tea of stuff that you've never really heard before. Ooh, so, your question? Ah! All right. <laughs> so, how was that transition for you? Okay. So, oh my God, I'm like, do we give like how? How do we go into the backstory Let's a little bit? Say the details. Let's go into the backstory. Just between us. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. They they. This is a podcast. They've seen a lot of our lives. So let's talk to them. What's your question? I, t- I said the I said the question. Wait, what's the question? I said, how was the transition for you? Like, how was that? Like, literally going from. Oh, for, you, for y'all, y'all need to know this. Y'all okay. need a little background story, okay? Because right. some of you guys are new to Easy and Natalie. Right, I'm Easy. And I'm Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> so and I, go ahead, get into girl, it. Girl, I'm trying. <laughs> Damn. Every time I try, you say, get into it. Y'all. So... <laughs> we really did start off as just best friends like uh-huh. when i say like we used to give each other dating advice yeah we would I go was out with for each the other and she was helping me yeah and i was like girl uh she she not the one that's because you secretly liked Look, me you no. liked it me and you was picky with the girls not i was choosing it. you liked it me no tell me i was wrong about any of them you did say I one of them gave stain coochie and she did have a stain coochie oh my god i can't oh believe you're god. saying this yeah oh, sorry that, just that between conversation us. did happen that's because how'd you know damn how did you know it was just a vibe it just seemed like she didn't take daily showers but we're not oh gonna say god. who or anything because that's not nice but oh, yeah, let's say it just between us girl no you think she'll see it if we not I let's know just you. say it Wait, I'll, are I'll, you I'll, serious <laughs> I know you lying. Bro, she, no. Natalie was like, Are you right. sure you talking to her? And I was like, They hey, were man, just like a man. few days into talking. They, we were just best friends, y'all. Let me tell them. Tell, tell, Listen, tell, tell, tell. I was talking to this shouty, right? You know what I'm saying? She cool, whatever. And I was like, yo, Natalie, like, yo, I'm, I'm like, I'm really feeling shouty. You know what I'm saying? She's like, ugh, her. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm feeling shouty. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you think, best friend? And she like, mm, she give dirty vibes. And I'm just like, <laughs> what? That is not how I said it. That's how you said it, just hating. I'm like, hey, she was hating. I'm like, bro, if you want me to say that, just say it. You know what I'm saying? But It's not I, hating if it was true. Okay, but I, we it didn't was know at true. the time. Okay, but girl, all right. She didn't, first give dirty and to me. she didn't give dirty to me. Okay, let me tell my story from my perspective. But also let them know, let them know, because you're not about to paint me out to be somebody who was trying to sabotage your relationships. This was literally in the, like, when, this was like in the beginning of our, of our friendship, friendship when we were like, we were best friends, but mm-hmm. we were like getting, like, girl. We were getting to the friendship. I had a whole boyfriend. I know. Please. I'm obviously, anyway. if they could see the video version, I'm literally emphasizing the, the damn shit, the story. So anyway, Natalie was like, she's giving like, you know, stink, but she ain't, she ain't really, like stop me she was like "Mm, you know okay i still talked to her natalie was still supporting me and you know by about time it was time to get down with the get down i was like yo nat (laughs) natalie you was right bro i did the smell check and everything and i just was like yo she stunk that's sad it was bad i feel bad oh god damn i I smell my fingers and just gotta Oh, you have memories? I just, uh, ew, cause stop. Because, you, you know, this is how you do the smell check. You do it secretly so they don't know. You put your arm, like, you know, if you go down there or whatever, right? You know, we, we just between us, you put your hand down there doing whatever you're doing. And then you wrap your arm around her head like this, like you're about to kiss her again. And while you kissing her, go to the side and kiss her ear. But you're really smelling your fingers. 
you and are fucking gross. Stunk. Like this it's whole stunk. conversation is like grossing me out. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Okay. Right, sorry, I got a well, little too 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 much. Sorry. Okay. Too much. Too much. Just too much. between us, do you listeners? Right. Do you think that you can tell by looking at somebody if their hygiene is a little off? Or Some th- people. I'm asking them. Okay. Ask them. The I asked already. Right. Okay. <laughs> answer. Do you feel? <laughs> comment below. On YouTube, if you're on Spotify, go to YouTube. Yes. And let us know. Can you tell? Can you tell? I feel like I kind of have that gift and it's like a gift and a curse, but I also have very, mm-hmm. a very strong sense of smell. Mm. And it, that's also but a gift and a curse. But you didn't smell her. No, just... I didn't. I didn't. But I feel like because I have such a strong sense of smell, right. I be smelling things about people that most people won't smell. So you smell her makeup. So, so from a mile away. You, can was I her eyebrows? what I'm trying to say? Was her eyebrows? What was it? Was her lips? Was her elbows? What you smell? Like, I, I didn't know. smell anything. I'm trying to get to my point. <laughs> My point is, is that because I have that gift of scent, okay, I um, I be just smelling stuff, so I can kind of like tell what type of people are saying. What did you smell? What did you smell? Because you didn't tell I me. I didn't smell anything for the millionth time. It was just like it was how she carried herself and just things about her. But she looked cute, and you said she was cute. She was cute, but it was like the, it was like the it was dirt, a, under, it was the dirty, it was like the food under the fingernails. It was the caked on makeup. Looks like she'd been wearing the makeup for too long. It was the jeans that look a little dirty like you didn't wash them. How, hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. I, wait. Hey, I, look, listen, just between us, I don't wash my jeans every single time. No, I got you about, don't I got I, I got I, listen. I I don't be washing my jeans every single wash. Do you wash your jeans every single wash? Keep it 100 because listen, listen, because I got some jeans in there that I didn't wear about three months ago that I ain't washed. I'm going to keep it 100. Am I the only one? Am, let me know. Am I the only one that don't wash their jeans? You're not supposed to wash your jeans every single time, but you're also not supposed to like start seeing the dirt on them, like it's kind of staining them. Yeah. If they're blue jeans, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, it's not it. supposed to give that. God, it was giving that. It was giving that okay, to me, so. to me. But anyway, she was a really pretty girl, and this is nothing against her. Yeah. And, and she doesn't even know who uh, that would be talking about her right now. So. Or does she? How would she know? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Anyway, <laughs> let's get off that insane okay, topic. Okay, so, so, like transitioning from best friends to lovers that's what your your question was or whatever yes i want to know i, do, I don't I, know how we got on to that topic yeah. i do i do i do miss some things as far as like i could tell you everything i feel like being in a relationship with my best i mean being in a relationship with my best friend comes with perks but the negatives it's like damn sometimes i'm in that best friend mode because we still are best friends mm-hmm. and i be wanting to tell you certain things not in like oh yeah like i just seen this fine ass shorty but then it's like it used to be like in the beginning of our relationship <laughs> where we could be like damn she thick and i feel like the closer we got uh-huh. we can't do that anymore and even when we were best friends of course we're just friends but then when we were together you would still allow that. It's like you wouldn't admire a booty. You know what I'm saying? It's a booty. It's out there. Look at all that ass. Like, goddamn. You feel me? I'm not wrong. You see that ass? She got that ass out. You feel me? Okay, that's too much. See, but, okay, that's see, the problem. But I'm it's just like, saying, I'm saying from... it used to be like that. No, we was different to everybody else. And that's what I miss. It's like, I'd be like, damn, we were look at that ass. We were best friends. No, but when we were together, though, in the beginning of that stage, you were like that. You but was you like, know my what? nigga. You, like, know... You, was, uh, you was like, no, other hand. You was like, yo, my nigga, look at that ass, boy. You know what the <laughs> issue was? What changed for me was that what? she, this was a hard part of the transition uh-huh. and she didn't know where those boundaries were. Mm-hmm. Like it's, you can't, it's not realistic to be just a hundred percent best friends still in every single way. And it be healthy yeah, and lovers. It's not a hundred percent. Like, I feel like we definitely can. And we've had moments where I'm like, we are both like, Oh dang, like she is a nice booty or like, look at her body or whatever the case may be. But the problem with easy is y'all know she extra. She got to go above and beyond about everything. Y'all see how she was just acting right now. Like, God, 
God damn, that's how she gonna act in public. But that's while how the person's walking by, and I'd I'm be like, like nah, I wouldn't. You're do it my with- actual girlfriend. Like, can you please not embarrass me right now while this girl's walking by or walking into this <laughs> restaurant? That was a specific situation where I was like, girl, Ayo, she flipped her shit. She was. So- I no, said, I didn't. I you, did not flip it, my it shit. It was one of those I gave silence. You the look. It, it was the look. It was a silent killer, but deadly type of bitch. You get your ass beat when you get home. Not <laughs> that's what it was. Look, not your ass beat. But it, it no. was like I was like, damn, hey. But she was ass. loud. She, she was food. loud, and like everyone was looking, and I'm like, okay, look, we should be able to admire women together uh-huh. without me feeling like low key embarrassed, like you're doing too much. They could possibly hear, or people was over here, like, damn, like, can we keep it a little low key? So and listen, without you being od, like for an example, let me give you all a good example, because on the flip of the script, you know, when it comes to I was admiring, just about to say when that. it comes to, I was, it, no, let I me say it, let me say, I was about to no, say it. Let me say it. Let me say, look, when it comes to dudes, if I see a fine ass knuckle, I'll be like, damn, hey, fine as fuck, baby, look. And we be like, oh, goddamn, bang, fall. And what Cause I know, Because I know I'm not attracted to dudes like that, but I'm attracted. I mean, I, I can admire a dude. So I'll be like, damn, he fine. He should be our baby daddy like that. And, what and happens, we don't never get and I what never happens, mad. What? No, 100% you have. Natalie. When I, Natalie. What ha- hold on, let me finish what I'm trying to say. All right, I'm sorry. What? Y'all, I be interrupting a lot. A lot. We got to work <laughs> on our baby. Um, so what happens though when the times when I have been extra, when I've been, oh damn, like he is fine or whatever the case may be. She's like, all right now, calm down. And that's what I say, like, all right, no, you doing too much. Or, she talking about or, gobble me, swallow me, tripped outside of me. Girl, you know, I don't <laughs> be extra like that. You she know. be like, God damn. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> See. It's because if you do it by yourself and with me, I don't trip. But when you with your best friends and shit, and we got other people there, it can't be too much. I don't do that with my best friends. <laughs> oh my god! And we was in Puerto Rico, <laughs> nigga. You knew that dude was far, oh, and y'all oh, was being. So now you remember times you've been mad over Only here. One time. She over here. Look, look. She be trying to make it seem like she's just this cool, chill. The last episode talking about, I didn't care if you were talking to you no know, one else, girl. Bye. I did. We don't keep it one hundred percent real. Not, I said, I'm just between us. Just between us. I didn't care. I asked because you asked me, but I didn't care like that. But let's back to this top nope uh-huh Give it, is my mic moving too damn much is it's good okay all right anyway <laughs> anyway i feel like i what what do y'all think comment below what it, there has to i feel like you should be able to have some like open moments where you should be able to admire whether it's a guy or a girl together or whatever but it still needs to be respectful and that was her issue and when since we're talking about transitioning from best friends to lovers uh-huh. and sometimes she had a issue she had a problem with knowing what is like kind of deemed appropriate in a relationship mm-hmm. so it would be like certain things where like she still wants to lift up her friends that she had crushes on and spin them around when she sees them and i'm like girl we're in a whole relationship you can't do that i didn't understand that but when you broke it down to me i did giving them long ass awkward hugs i'm standing there like uh okay so for me for guys okay so to break it down like okay so i'm giving i see one of my friends we're in a relationship now but i would do this when we were best friends if i hadn't seen that friend in a long time i'm like yo what's up girl i pick her up like spin around i'm like i miss you oh my god and natalie's right there and listen listen to this listen to this because she looking at me she ready to interrupt and be like yeah bitch put her down but like that's what i would do and natalie's looking at me like oh and i'm just like oh okay I got to think like, you know what I'm saying? I don't got a girl, you know what I'm saying? And this look like I'm trying to holler at this girl and it ain't that. But remember when I met you, mm-hmm. you knew you should have known us how it was. Remember when I yeah, met you, true. when I met her, when I met Natalie, I had a girlfriend. And soon as I, I seen her and I met her, my girlfriend was standing right there and I picked her up because I was so genuinely happy and to meet you. And I was you. like, this is awkward. Please put me down. Because my <laughs> girlfriend was there? Yes. See, and that's what I'm saying. Like, but you have to know that I'm looking mentally. at her like, <laughs> like, <laughs> but you have to know that because th- that's how you know my intentions aren't bad. If I ever do that and pick up a girl, spin her around for 
for me, my mindset, it was more so like, I miss my friend. I ain't seen him, but right. you, cause I, I did it. it to you. you know? I get it. And that's why I never, you know, that's why we're still here is cause I didn't think you were intentionally trying to flirt or be inappropriate right. and stuff. But you also have to understand that there are, even though you have a lot of feminine qualities, you have a lot of masculine qualities yeah. as well. So even that specific friend that you're talking about, if you remember, she came in the to garage. me. Well, bitch, let's not that, give too much. Let's not give too much. No, because that bitch try to come in between okay, our relationship. She did come to me, and this is. Let me finish. No, what I'm trying to, bitch. Please let me finish. She was. Please let me finish. Sorry, y'all. My blood is boiling because she so, tried to gum it between my relationship. Go ahead, Natalie. So my whole point of saying why she did come to me and she was like, hey, yeah, like you are such a good, cool girlfriend because yeah, like Easy's low key flirty. Like I can't believe you're able to like deal with that. And that pissed me off because I already told Easy that she'd be coming off flirty. And I'm like, hey, to the girl. And I had, couldn't wait to talk to Easy because Bitch. I was like trying to tell, fit, wait till I'm finished, baby. So I had to wait, you know, I had to tell her, I'm like, look, the, at the end of the day, I know your intentions are not like negative. Like you're trying to be super flirtatious right in front of me and all this other stuff. Right. But you have to understand when you give masculine energy, it's the same thing as if a dude sees me and comes and picks me up and spins me around. He might not have the intention to be flirtatious. Oh, hell no. He's trying, he trying to fuck. Baby. He wants baby, them cheeks. Baby. A dude baby, is different. Baby. Let me finish. It's he trying not, to get them cheeks, them oh my yams. God. See, I can't even complete. He a want full. them yams. He want the yams. That's different. Go ahead. I'm gonna let you finish, but he want them cheeks. Did you want them cheeks? I'm when a, you picked up a girl, I'm a girl. Exactly. The, the, there's no difference. I'm. My point is, is regardless, it feels inappropriate when there's masculine energy involved, <laughs> and you go and you pick up a girl and you spin them around. That's what feels weird. Now, if I go and pick up a girl and spin them around, it's not going to give that. But exactly. you have to understand how you decided to like your your image to the world and to other people and that's the reason why she felt like you were flirting with her and that's the reason mm -hmm. why i told you that certain things like that comes off a little and i'm proud of you but you also know she was being messy because it wasn't like i did that on the side my girlfriend's sitting right next to that's you. why she said so, i was cool i don't think she was trying to be messy i think she was just kind of like i can't believe you're just so open to this what that sound like? I need y'all to really listen to this. <laughs> this is how she said it. She said, yeah, girl, you're so cool. Cause easy comes off flirty, bitch. You, we just argued me and you little, do you know, we just had an argument the other day and now you try to stir some shit up. We just got over it. All right. Oh, that sounds like you're trying to ruin something here. Me out. It sounds like you're trying to ruin this. <laughs> Because of what I would have said if I wasn't trying to ruin it, I would have been more so like, dang, girl, like, easy, so extra, like, you know what I'm saying? And let you see what you felt about it. You know what I'm saying? That's what it seemed like to me. Okay. Yeah. Well, right. you're entitled to your own opinion, but mm -hmm. regardless, right. it's still you know anyway that that that's one of the things guys that it was like really hard for us to <laughs> learn that was a perfect example of like transitioning from best friends to lovers yeah. it's like you're not you're going to interact differently with other people Th what people you know what i'm saying what you could get away with before might right. not slide as much i had to change things about myself too in the way that i would do certain things like cuz i was the same way i used to tell her everything like she she would know when I was going to spend the night at someone's house. When we were friends, would, or be, uh, when we were best friends. Oh yeah, when we were going. When I, was I was keeping going, tabs on you. See, now I know what she was up to, but I was just sharing because she would share. Like she would be on her way to go do some things, and she'd be sending me pictures on the way. And, you want a diss between us? It, oh my god, I don't know. That's kind of inappropriate. Okay, she she just let's just say this. She would send <laughs> pictures of her toys. That she don't ever play me. I don't ever call. My all right. Wife. All right. See, this is why I was trying to use appropriate language, but. <laughs> Get my brother's anyway, face. Mom, as best friends, she really was. You know what I'm saying? Like we were, we, we really were best would, friends, I'd best be like, friends. girl, I'm about to go over his house right now. And she'd be like, oh shit, for real. Okay. Call yeah. me, call me tomorrow. I want the tea. Like yeah. that type of, we were real, real deal best friends. So well, we can't do all that. Like now that we, you know, when we're moving into a relationship. So some people think that, you know, because we were best friends, mm -hmm. like sometimes the intimacy is hard. And I feel like it, remember we, that we Who struggled that. 
<laughs> I'm fucking lying. I'm reading the notes, bitch. <laughs> you said some people think. <laughs> I'm like, you know when people in the live oh somebody's in somebody's live yeah everybody keeps asking me bitch nobody asking me Shit. nobody thought that I was trying to transition you you know I, we knew this we not true to this. this okay okay fuck it let me just be honest we this is one of the questions we want to ask uh you can I'll ask it anyway I didn't how do you say keep- you have to tell the about our notes bitch <laughs> damn <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got no <laughs> I'm was done. trying to think. Okay, hey, this is a perfect example of us still being best friends. Yeah, I love you, girl. I love you too, girl. Hey, man. So look, since we best friends, you know what I'm saying? Uh, how do, how do we keep the intimacy alive? <laughs> That's the question. So, what's the question? Ask the question. I I, I want. I thought. On your tooth. Oh, I do. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you got. I got you. I got you. All right, so. When we were transitioning from best friends to lovers, general uh, generalizing for everybody. You okay, know. do you think it would be weird to have sex with your best friend? Hell nah, comma bella. Hell nah, comma bella. Some uh, comma below. Do y'all think? It, do you think it's weird to have sex with your best friend? I guess What's if you're a guy for you. Listen. Oh my God! Listen. Ew! It's the when you get that ah, smooth yeah. voice on. Go. Nah, it wasn't. It wasn't hard at all. Cause it wasn't hard. I was attracted to you? you for many, many years. He many, said it many. wasn't hard at all. At Trust all. Trust me. At all. I couldn't wait to the day. Yes. Nah, it wasn't hard at all, and it wasn't it's even awkward stupid. after because you know we were together, so it was just like, all right. And just between us, you know. Our love story, for y'all that don't know, we, 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 we say it often, but our love story, we start off as best friends, and Natalie was straight, I was gay, whatever, we were strictly just friends. And, you know, I knew that Natalie liked me at a certain point. I felt Girl, the energy. Bye. I felt the energy. You've admitted to it. Come yeah, on. I Shut up. I felt the energy, and that's why I felt comfortable enough to admit my love to her. I can tell, I can, we can feel the intensify chemistry so it was like okay let me shoot my shot while i feel this Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and there was moments i felt like i caught natalie i was i doing like i caught natalie i felt like i could read your mind Mm. you know when you seducing somebody Uh uh-huh when we were best friends i felt like i caught you a couple times looking at me in a way to where you wanted me so bad but you were holding back and you couldn't because you knew you weren't like that but you really was like that oh okay yeah yeah okay so for me when it comes to the intimacy (laughs) when it came to the intimacy for me it was like i felt like it was fireworks when we got it pop lock and dropping Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. it was fireworks Mm -hmm. because it was so built up like insane my brother's recording us guys <laughs> how you feel bro you good he's so professional he's giving us a thumbs up sheesh yeah so for me it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't hard to you know you know do that that and why you gotta go and do that little buddy okay yeah okay is it hard for you because um, you 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 ain't never been with a woman before so was woo! it hard for you all right so from my, on my end i'm Jeez. sure it was a lot different than on your end of mm-hmm. like you were already talk to him let you him were know. already attracted to me yeah you were and it wasn't that i wasn't like i i was able to oh my god it's such a weird topic because it's like if you have never just gone from being completely straight to being with a woman like you just won't understand but i'll, I'll try to explain it the best that i can explain the emotions explain the feelings so, so let me say this all right i'm gonna felt. take y'all back i'm gonna take y'all back a little bit so whenever like i, I remember was I, wait, was I right about that the what? moments i caught you 
looking at me you wanted me yeah there was definitely moments where I was like just curious so you probably that's what you were feeling that's what you were probably feeling but not in the beginning like it was starting to oh, be no, no, no. like yeah that build up that build up okay. yeah so what okay let me tell y'all let me tell y'all okay I feel like I'm talking to my best friends <laughs> so what happened was is like you know over the years it went from like we spent so much time together. I don't think y'all understand. Like we were together. Like we damn near lived together. Yeah. She damn near lived with me. And then you lived with and me. And then I lived with her. It was like it back was and forth. because we and we never officially moved in, but we would have our little duffel bags, you know, our whole bags. And we without being hoes. Right. And we would just spend them every single night together. So imagine like you're going to get closer and closer to somebody like that. You're sleeping together. You're telling them every single thing, Mm -hmm. like every meal together. Like we, it was starting to get a little intimate. So why did you feel like that with Jasmine though? Cause Jasmine, because you, you've done that with because Jasmine. Because like I was able to like, you know, look at you. I was like, damn, she kind of fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay no but for real but for real, for real what it was was i think it was that masculine energy and it started confusing me yeah. and i was like and then also girl what? it's the way you're looking at me right now yeah it was that masculinity yeah, yeah. so so yeah there was like and it was it's a it's a interesting mix y'all so as you can see she does get very masculine and feminine at the same time so it was bizarre it was like she was feminine enough to be my best friend but then masculine enough for me to be like wait a minute look at her muscles hey don't let me don't let me show out the muscles right now i got this hot ass robe on (laughs) i remember one time she um she was who's she easy Easy posted a picture on Instagram and Ooh. we were just best friends. I still remember what picture it was. Which one was we it? We should have it pop up. Okay. Maybe not. No, maybe not. Anyway, <laughs> so we uh we had it she basically was like showing her guns in the picture. I was hey, hey, her hey, muscles. Hey, you the feds her, with guns. Her her muscles. Oh, okay. Her muscles. And I was just like, this we were just best friends, but I was like Oh shit! I was a little confused looking at this picture. I was like, "Damn, she looks strong. I wonder if she could pick me up." Yeah, but you and played then, it off and DM me and was like, "You ugly." <laughs> Wait, did you hear what I said? What you said? I thought I wonder if she could pick me up. <gasps> no, you, I you, you no, thought I that? didn't think that. Yes, I'm you joking. did. I'm joking. Yes, she did. She no, I didn't. That. No, I you didn't. definitely thought that. I didn't. I knew. No, it. but I did think like I, I knew thought, it. and it was that moment that I was like, I can see why yeah. girls are attracted to her. <laughs> Like, I can see why, because there's a little bit of something there. This is like, this was new for me. Mm-hmm. I had never in my life looked at a stud, looked at a girly girl, no girl right. in any way where I could even understand that. Right. So mm-hmm. then over time, that that kind of curiosity grew a little bit. So that's whenever you probably were catching on to those like little looks and stuff. Because I'd be like, you'd be telling me stories about you yeah. and other girls. And I was just like, hmm. I wonder what that's like. So yeah. to answer your question, I feel like this is such a going. juicy topic. Yeah. Um, to answer your question about was it strange for me to be intimate with you? Mm-hmm. It was like it it was in a way, uh-huh. but then it was just like so just exciting that I couldn't get in my like head about it you know what I'm saying like I was excited to it was like a build-up it was like finally I'm getting to see what this is about because Mm -hmm. I was curious and we would even have like conversations as best friends where she'd be telling me like yeah like you know oh I'm this and I'm that like I'm good at doing this I'm good at like sexual shit right <laughs> and I'd be yeah. like girl bye and then I'd be like you because she used to swear that one of her ex-boyfriends did something better sexually in bed and I'd be like nah like man you my home girl or whatever but nah nobody better than me and she'd be like girl shut the fuck up like we just be best friends <laughs> it out but I'm laugh. really getting her hints like yeah no yeah you were definitely you were trying to give me hints huh? like you know what's up Girl, so, so did I meet up to the expectations or what? Just between us, did I meet up to the, your expectations or did I surpass them? I was gonna say you surpassed them for sure. I would not be here. Like, okay, wait, what if, what if we, <laughs> what if we were intimate, right? We had sex and it was trash. Like, what, what would that have been like? If we were intimate and it was trash, we would not be here. 
I don't think so either. For you, for sure. But for me, I can't be with somebody that I don't have a in, like a, a spiritual connection with. And that's what it was. Like, it was so spiritual. It was just like you were my twin flame and it was just colors just everywhere. And I feel like that's a great description. You know babe. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just colors everywhere. And I feel like if it was trash, we probably were like, I, I mean, that awkward. was cute. No, nah, we would have been awkward. Cute. We was, we would have been awkward. I think we'd been awkward. Yeah. No, I feel like we, I think we would have been awkward at first. And then I think because of the type of relationship we had, we would have yeah. talked about it and just been like, yeah, I just don't think we had like that chemistry. And then we would have laughed it off and we would have went back to talking to other people and mm. like, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's, that's what it would have, would have been because it was, honestly was. it wasn't like, it wasn't weird at all. We woke up and we just kind of like looked at each other and like laughed we left. and we were just like <laughs> oh damn that happened and i think we were just both really blown away at how easily and comfortable we were yeah. and how great we just were together chemistry was crazy <laughs> chemistry was crazy Ooh. so yeah man. oh man um <laughs> all right so give me some pros and cons of at first give me some pros okay pros of dating your best friend the pro with dating your best friend is the chemistry 100 percent. because people say that oh i'm 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 dating my best friend like that he's such my best friend she's my best friend like no 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 you're not you are dating and then you became best friends right you were my best friend and then we started dating that's that a, is different. That's different. Cause I've every person that you're with, they're supposed to be your best friend. You know right. what I'm saying? But we was different. I feel like that's why we're able to be able to talk about certain topics. So that's a that's a huge pro for me. Like, damn, some things like I literally feel like there's not a single thing that I would feel uncomfortable telling you or talking to you about. Yeah. And I've never felt like that in a in a relationship before because yeah. like you still feel like you have to keep that level of like man we be farting and shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sometimes we be too, too comfortable. Too like, comfortable yeah. We have to remind each other like okay babe, yeah. like you're come, too comfortable. You're, too being, you're being too comfortable and we'll yeah. be like okay sorry cuz sometimes that shit can be a turn off. Okay, so, so what's a, what's a con, what's a con for you? <laughs> <laughs> i'm just thinking about us that's funny okay um so what, a con? what is a con what's a con for you in this okay a con oh, no, wait. what's a con for you dating your best friend okay a bad thing about dating your best friend i would say is the fact that uh the things that you want to just be best friends about mm-hmm. sometimes you can't still be best friends about like we kind of already mentioned you oh, know? okay like the oh he's cute she's cute type of thing or give me an example because my example that was my example <laughs> you know what i say just between us say if you say just between us we're good we're in the clear yeah if you yeah. say just between us that means no one's really listening yeah, except for us exactly so and darnell yeah exactly go ahead um, just between us just between us well i mean it's not as juicy as you trying to make it seem like it is but okay, what's a con i do feel like the comfortability it's cool because that's all it could be a pro like i said but also it could be a con because there's certain things that kind of like sometimes you want a little bit left to the imagination about your partner and that's kind of what makes it sexy wait what and, did i do well just sometimes you know like so I know some couples out there, I know y'all be doing this, but this is just not for me. I don't want like you to come in when I'm in the shower and I'm trying to get clean. I'm mm-hmm. trying to be sexy and you come in and you're just like, babe, I got a shit <laughs> or and you just come and you sit down and start pooping or something like that. I'd be like, Ooh. what? So things like that, you know, it's like, well, damn, I was going to come out and be all sexy and put on some lingerie or something. Uh, And you just, because of the comfortability of us also being best friends. And then just kind of like, we be talking a little too much detail about certain things. And we be, I'd be like, all right, we don't, we shouldn't share too, too much because sometimes it does take away the sexiness Mm -hmm. of a relationship. And I think that also can affect our intimacy Right, is like, Cause this, well, this is another con. This is just a completely another different one. Okay. It's not so much anymore, Mm -hmm. but before, you know, when we were still navigating being 
to that that transition transition from best friends to lovers Mm -hmm. it was kind of like sometimes we were just completely so content yeah of being in each other's presence and just doing things that best friends do like oh let's just go to the movies let's do this let's cuddle let's Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying that we would forget to like the the intimate parts you know yeah. what I'm saying? We were to forget like, all right, no, but we also have to, in order to be content and, mm-hmm. uh, you know, give each other the romantic parts, we still got to be romantic and we yeah. can't just be best friends all the time. So I think that was kind of hard for us to navigate yeah. a little bit at first. No, I don't feel like it was at first. Or not at first, I, in, the at, middle, in, the in the middle. I'm going to say in the middle because at first. No, at first it, it was, was, it was, it, it was, was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, remember when we went on the podcast with Shan Boudry? Yeah, Around yeah, that yeah. time, it was tough for us because it was like not only were we was working so much, but being content like that and best friends, it was just like, and we both have put on like, weight. It was and a it lot. Was just like it was a lot. Yeah. Now we getting slimmage, right? So it's is that different. a con? Is that a con of do you think that people go through that? Because I feel like what Shan was giving us advice was that people actually go through that, or you think because we were best friends, it was conflicting? I think it was. I think people go through that, and I think it's heightened when you're best friends. Like mm. I feel like when you're just content, because for me, it's not like we were just okay. So we could b- back then we could go so long without being romantic or intimate, right? And almost damn near just be okay because we're also just enjoying each other's company so much as best yeah. friends and then we're like oh shit wait a minute but we're in a relationship yeah. we need some relationship shit to happen you know uh-huh. what i'm saying so that that's kind of like a different thing whereas yeah. most relationships if a couple has not been intimate for a while or something they're gonna that's the main thing that they get from the relationship mm-hmm. is the romance is the affection is the intimacy so they're gonna be like it's gonna be more noticeable to them they're gonna be like yeah something's off we wouldn't be like something's off so we would go a long time without even being romantic before and it was just like you know so it was tough. So, so how are we now are we romantic oh, okay yeah yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I was just saying, like over time, like well, before. How was your night last night? Anyway, uh, next- wait, no. <laughs> no, no, just between us though, is it? Do you feel like the intimacy when it comes to being with a woman uh-huh. is different than being with a man? Hundred percent, hundred percent. Yes. Okay, so you've been with a woman for a long time. Me, aka me, aka me. Yeah. So you've been with a woman you know for a very long time what's the difference besides obviously the obvious reasons so there's a lot of differences i think if i was to just sum it up in a sentence though Mm -hmm. to make this simple i think being with a woman feels more sensual Mm -hmm. and um more just like there's like more of a romance to it and it's not to say i've definitely been with like romantic men and stuff but there's just a sensuality that's Mm. that comes with being with a woman that with a man it's more like about the sex it's more it's not it's not as much of a mental emotional stimulation it's more about them getting pleased versus you getting pleased no because there's guys out there that are aiming to please you but it's just like I don't know how to explain it. There's not as much of the same sensuality of a mental, emotional, and spiritual like bonding with the physical. Yeah. That's what I've my experience has been. And I don't I can't say that it would be like that with every woman because yeah, obviously I, like- I could be with a woman and it would be tragic. It could just be because you're my soulmate. That was that was I like how you did that. You ate with that one. Yeah, I like how I you ate, ate that. Left up. no crumbs. No crumbs. <laughs> hey, I feel like fellas, take notes. I am about to put you up on game, brother. My brother's here running the podcast. Men, studs, whoever need to take notes and whoever need to hear this. I feel like that's why a lot of women lo- love having intimacy with women. You know what I'm saying? Because we are natural born lovers all women you know what i'm saying most women yeah so it's you know like heightened yeah so instead I'm, of you being the only one that's just like ex- super loving and affectionate yes. you got two of y'all being right i'm trying to pay attention to detail for detail because for me i love love so i know when it's time to get intimate it's like i'm paying attention to her facial expressions i'm paying attention like okay maybe this might not be it maybe this might be it you know what i'm saying okay let me do this if she say this let me stay there you know what i'm saying i feel like with men a lot of women tell me and like what you've said 
it is more so about them getting pleased. And if you cater a lot to the woman getting pleased, I feel like it would turn the men on more or in general, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? If they actually pay attention to that. So, but yeah, I guess yeah. That's, that's the difference. I mean, I'm not going to toot my own horn or anything like that, but I'm just saying from my experience, I do pay attention to women and why well, I pay attention to only you. Yeah. I only ever pay attention to you in my life. Yeah. I like that. You answer. like that? Yeah. yeah. That was cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, I think that would be like a, a major difference. Do you have mm-hmm. any more pros of being with your best friend? <laughs> she want me to boost her head. You no, you can't. No, go ahead. Give me a con. That's a con? Cool. Yeah, give me a con. Give me Ooh, a con. Oh, a con with being with your best. I can't be one. So, how do you keep the intimacy alive in a relationship where we've been together for three years? I'm getting hot. I'm gonna have to take this robe off. Keep it on, girl. It's the it's aesthetic. aesthetic. I'm burning up over here. It's the aesthetic. It's We're all the light. You know what I'm saying? We trying to give y'all a. Yes. Um, keeping the intimacy alive in any relationship, yeah, I how, feel like. How do you think is how do you think you do that? I, how do I do that? Well, I or, just, or give some advice. Let me get some advice. All right. In order to keep the intimacy alive, I feel like you have to go on dates and you have to listen to your partner. In the beginning of our relationship, that's all we would do is just but that's also where you gain the most weight. Cause we was going on dates, on dates, on we dates, on dates, on dates, much, and getting Lord. fat. We was getting bigger and bigger, a pound, a pound, a pound. But <laughs> going on dates is so good. But don't just do it because it's the beginning. Mm-hmm. And if you just stick to it, and because it's the beginning, you're once you get into the middle relationship, you're gonna be over that. Um, what is it that a uh, lovey dovey phase? You know what I'm saying? And it gets old mm-hmm. and redundant. And you feel like, oh, why am I even like? We don't do fun stuff. I've heard in relationships um that oh yeah you guys still do this you guys do that i love that you guys go on trips and i love that you got oh that was so cute because you got to keep it alive and we've forgotten you know what i'm saying in moments where we were just working so much or we were just like i think that was the problem it's not even that we ever stopped really doing things like that we started filming it so often that that was the problem we started having to have discussions about like as content creators we can't film every date we do we can't like every surprise we do so we started we started just doing surprises for each other and doing dates with and not filming it because we were like it took away from it remember because of that it took away from it so we stopped doing dates for a while Mm -hmm. and then when we came to that conclusion it was like all right like maybe let's just not laugh our phones let's just put our the camera down and actually live in this moment and be present right and once we started doing that that was keeping the intimacy alive and that was literally like keeping the romance and it didn't feel like the puppy puppy love or puppy dog stage it felt it felt like the puppy dog stage again like we just went on a date like you know what i'm saying that that boat cinema and i know that Mm. made you feel good because you know sometimes you lack in the areas of thinking about going on dates because you feel like you already got the girl or you feel like the boat cinema was everything like the boat i loved it so much it was so romantic and it was just like so cute i'm gonna put out a little snippet yeah (laughs) (laughs) yeah i gotta edit it (laughs) being content creators all right (sighs) just between wait ask me babe ask me what's up my love i'm sorry i'm just you said to say how do you keep the intimacy alive okay how do you keep the intimacy alive though wow I think a way that I keep the intimacy alive. You cook, baby. You be cooking for me. I love when you cook, baby. It just be so good. All you want to do is cook. <laughs> Literally, I was going to say that, but I wasn't going to say it so animated, so I'm glad you said it for me because yeah, that ahead, was baby. entertaining. Say it, baby. Say it. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Um, she about to pass out in this damn <laughs> room. Burn it up over here. So basically... Yeah, like honestly, I I I cater to her in her love languages, which is what, and she loved food, y'all. She loved to eat, and not just that, because it's not like I cook every single day or anything like that. But I just make sure that she feels taken care of, and I think that mm. that is like a turn on for her to be taken care of, and like you know. Whether it's, it could be as small as making sure she took her vitamins or bringing her water or whatever the case may be to making her some food, you know, whatever. Just like little things. I take care of certain things 
for like her. our business even yeah business, and I'm taking care of a lot of things too and i love that because i hate doing taxes I, I love when you take care about taxes. <laughs> she, you know, I, I, yeah, I just pick up in certain ways for her. And I think she really enjoys that. And then also, you know, just being a little, I love to do little things. Like, um, I think it, it's good for you to just go ahead and girl and get you some lingerie sometimes. Like you don't ah. got to do it all the time, but like, and make it a surprise, you know, come out with some lingerie or cook dinner in lingerie. That's even like better. Cause like, you know, you know what your dessert is you know and then a <laughs> 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 little net net and grew then sheesh and then you know sometimes too um i think it's real oh another thing that i feel like i do but this isn't maybe for everybody but just i love us. just between us you know if you trying to switch it up a little bit for your man or your girl um dance for them you know dance for them like i like dancing so we'll we'll have on some music and i'll just like break out into random sensual dances <laughs> and like she'll just be shocked or just start twerking you know and what dancing on her and stuff and i we do that so much in our relationship that like i always think it's crazy that I never really did that in my other relationships, but it does add to the sensuality a lot. Like you get in your little private dances. Remember when I would like put on, I would like turn off the lights and put on like little colorful lights and I would just come out of the bathroom and just give you a whole dance. Like I was a stripper. That was fire. You were stripping your past life. You, um, you know what else is like that keeps intimacy alive that I don't really tell you or I've never told you. What? I can't I, wait to hear this. I love that you work out really it it's like such a it's like i love that and i love that you take care of your body and your skin like when you do your skincare is such a turn on yeah you do say you all you do mention that a lot like you'll be like i love that you take care of your skin but i didn't know it was a turn on yeah and i love that because i did not know mm -hmm. after being with natalie i did not know and I guess I should have known. That's why I didn't know that bitch was dirty. <laughs> I know as women, because I don't wear makeup. And in my past relationships, I didn't know that it wasn't okay for you to not take off your makeup, you know, and like you could sleep with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I thought like, okay, if you, if you sleep with it, if you sleep with your makeup, it'd be like, all right, you can just wash it off in the morning. Oh, I thought hell that, that no. I literally thought that that was okay. Yeah. So when wow. you did it and when you would do it all the time, I'm like, Oh damn! Like, it, no wonder I was dealing with that stank ass, cool yeah, dusty, musty, oh crusty ass. Oh no, <laughs> no, I really didn't know that. So when you was doing it and you do your you do your skincare every night, she got me doing it and stuff too. It's like damn, she gonna be young forever. Yeah, and just coming home and like it, we be like coming home two o'clock in the morning, she still take her makeup off or you know sometimes she lay on my lap and I'll take it off for whatever. Uh, that makes but, me happy when she yeah. does that, but yeah like i feel like that's so cute that you like that yeah and when you work out and then i see that you just get up and work out it's just i love it really yeah Ooh. i love that you take care of your body inside and out oh yeah okay so that's and another mentally and mentally emotionally when you journal and meditate i'll be like man i'll be coming in here just kissing you like Ooh. yeah i'll be in the middle of meditation and she'll just start like hugging me and kissing me it's so cute yeah. No, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I love learning new things like that. Yeah, you gotta keep the intimacy alive. You know? I guess it makes sense because if you think about it, like if your partner, especially like if you're into certain things and if your partner's like lazy, like laziness is not even down to a like certain level mentally. Laziness isn't I mean, but everybody can be lazy because I you know I can be lazy sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm talking about if you're into like fitness or something and your partner never gets up to work out ever. Yeah, because I that guess those you, it's a mental thing. Mm -hmm. And and you're naturally more attracted to somebody who does what you like, does what you like. And just you're we're hardwired to be attracted to health. Yeah. Well, not That's, everybody, though, because I was a big bitch and you still love with me okay don't forget no you. but i'm talking about on a, i'm talking about like on a neurological level we're hardwired to Two. like in the wild you the the weakest link sometimes they get killed you know what yeah, i'm saying but some girls, in the wild hold on let me get to my point so you can understand what i'm trying to say okay my bad dad and, just say shut the fuck up bitch. <laughs> 
<laughs> in the wild, like the women want to go for the strongest animal. They want to go, you know what I'm saying? The best hunter, mm. the that's all has a lot to do with how we're hardwired. So I guess it's like, this is just on a deeper level, but right. I think that has a lot to do with like attraction. That's why you're more probably attracted to somebody who is motivated or, but some girls love them thick. You know what I'm saying? Like men, yeah, like, of like a lot of girls be like when it comes to cuddle season, you know, I'm sure. Cause you was loving me when I was in my thicker season. I did. I did. And I, this isn't about like you having to be skinny. Mm. What I just said isn't about that. Oh. It's about just taking care of yourself in general, because it's like, it's not about your size because there's definitely people who are uh, a little on the thicker side that work out. Cause even you at your thickest, you were still working out. Mm. Just where it wasn't how you're just saying like the, I'm the, just talking the about just taking nature of taking care of yourself. Yes. Taking okay. care of yourself and not like letting yourself just completely, you know, mm-hmm. Like health, health is health is wealth. Yeah, I feel that. Okay, well, just between us, I will say this. And the last thing on intimacy. <sighs> was it for intimacy? Was the intimacy better then in the beginning? Or was the intimacy better now? Oh, my God. Because, look, we were best friends. So was the intimacy better in the beginning of the relationship or is intimacy better, I guess, then? So, you know. When, or now. You yeah. just said then twice. <laughs> you know the fuck you come up. So in the beginning, the excitement was there more. Mm. So that's kind of hard to, like duplicate now it's like the forbidden that, fruit you know yeah what I'm that so. excitement that like it's new you're exploring each other it's like also my first time ever with a girl so it's even more exciting than just in general okay like being with somebody for the first time so it's all of those things and then you know but now mm -hmm. it's the comfortability of like all right i'm completely free with you i'm completely comfortable mm -hmm. with you like knowing each other's bodies and stuff like where we were learning it more so before mm -hmm. so it's really hard i think there's like the certain things that i wish we could bring from the beginning but then i wouldn't go back to the beginning because there's certain things that i love about now so but you had to choose <sighs> You had to choose. You have to choose. That's the question. Is intimacy better then, or was it was it better then, or is it better now? Oh my god, that's hard. I think. Well, that's a good. That's good then. That's good if it's hard because if you easily said, "Well, no, I'm easily." then or then, now it, it probably that's a good thing now. Yeah, it's really difficult, but I will say if I had to choose. I'm gonna ooh, oh. come on, hurry up. If I had to choose what, what you choosing? Just between us. Just between us. What are you choosing? I like No, the I would choose I would choose what we have now. That's why mm. that's why I think now. Because if I that's like me being like, all right, I would rather be with somebody, like go have a one night stand just for the excitement mm -hmm. of it all. But that wasn't how it was in the beginning of us. We were already in love. So right. it was like it was just the excitement of the beginning. And I would never want to just go do a one night stand with somebody. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I would definitely choose now. Mm. But there was there is just something special about the beginning that yeah. like I don't know how we would ever duplicate that with each other. Mm. Okay, well that's all I got. What, I want to know the same for you. It don't always gotta be back and Please. forth. Please, no, the, that was my no. Question. The people want to know. Then that or was now. my question. We don't always gotta have that. You answer. You answer. I guess you never know. They want to know. They don't want to know. Let, Come on, give it comments. to the people. The feeling of the beginning was sensational. You know what I'm saying? But I think that's what a lot of people, because it's so new and it feels like oh, it's finally happening. Mm -hmm. So that feeling. But to me, it's like, I feel like I know so many different things about you to where it's just like, damn, like the, 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 the present intimacy is amazing. Yeah. Plus, I feel like you can get a little more adventurous. When you ain't got it. You ain't got like. You yeah, don't got to like, hold back. You're not about. You're not going to feel like they're judging you. You're wait like. Wait a minute. Nat. What? You was not acting like that in the beginning. You were just you. 
I was. Okay, that's deep. But, but, but I feel like I'm more me now. Like, I no, like I was like, well, damn. You were only thought that because you th- thought I was just like little miss, like, oh she's so cute and innocent okay. all right it's getting a little hot maybe we should okay all right, all right. All right. We, should get here. we gonna talk we gonna finish this conversation we gonna, just between us we gonna finish this later um uh, well thank you guys so much for listening to our podcast this is episode two we were so happy to talk to you chop it up and you know hopefully you guys are getting to know us a lot better you know we 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 know the audio was messed up on the first episode hopefully this episode we good my bro say hey it sound better right sound way better so hopefully this episode will give you what you want and comment below on topics y'all want us to talk about because this is very fun for us we like it and we like to switch up and it just feels so like just between us type of vibe 100 percent. we loved this we love you guys please you know let's have some fun positive yes. conversations <laughs> in the comment section yes. and yeah like just Give us some good topics, topics. that you want us to cover because yes. we can talk about anything. Talk about it all. And please follow our podcast on Spotify and Apple, okay? It's just between us podcasts. We're new, so you're going to have to scroll, okay? Yeah. But you'll see us and it is linked. <laughs> we'll put the below. link, yeah. We'll put the link, okay? And if you are watching or listening to this podcast, make sure you head over to Easy X Natalie YouTube channel and we have our podcast live there for the video footage. We love you. And we're out. out. Peace out.